Meghan Markle is like Marmite, says a royal expert after it was revealed the Duchess of Sussex is set to snub the UK during Prince Harry's visit. The Duke of Sussex will return to Britain next week to mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, the global athletic tournament he founded to support veterans and military personnel. Meghan however is unlikely to attend alongside her husband, a decision that would hardly shock anyone after Omid Scobie, a renowned royal author, claimed she never wants to set foot again in England. Furthermore, Harry will also take part in a service of thanksgiving at the iconic St. Paul's Cathedral next Wednesday. This could potentially play a significant role in Meghan deciding not to join her husband. The last time the couple paid a visit, back in 2022, they got booed as they emerged from their vehicle, reports The Mirror. Royal expert Chris Shipp told The Sun's royal exclusive show that Meghan would NT want to experience that again. The difficulty is you remember last time they went to St. Paul's Cathedral, which was for the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee, they got booed, he said. We heard the boos for them. We should be clear there was also people cheering for them, but there were definitely boos at St. Paul's Cathedral. So going back there I can see why Meghan may not wish to accompany Harry there. Meghan Markle is set to join Prince Harry in Nigeria later this month as part of their Invictus tour, with royal commentatorship suggesting that the Duchess reception in Africa will starkly contrast with opinions back in Britain. As much as Meghan in this country is a bit of Marmite character, people love her or people really don't love her, she is likely to be seen very very differently in Africa, he said. The couple has faced warnings to reconsider their Nigerian visit due to the United States issuing a level 3 travel advisory for the country, indicating high risks including crime, terrorism, and kidnapping. Former head of Royal Protection Di Davies expressed his bewilderment at the Duke's decision, highlighting it as contradictory given his security complaints in the UK. It's strange that he personifies the risk factors here and is willing to go to one of the world's most dangerous countries, he said.